Hi and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking into this video. Today I'm going to teach you how to breed villagers in Minecraft. So first, what you there are things that you need to know before you start breeding here on your Minecraft. So a village needs to have enough beds for the villagers and the child they produce to be able to breed. So you'll need three blocks of wool and three wooden planks. And villagers need to be in close proximity and have an inventory full of wood before they will breed. Either three loaves of bread or 12 carrots, 12 beetroot, or 12 potatoes. And trading with villagers also increases their happiness level and makes them more willing to breed and emerald swar one are are one of the most commonly traded items so the method that i'm going to teach you is breeding villagers so first what you need to do in order to breed villagers you need to find vill a village so village generate at random locations on the map then just be patient you may need to look around for a while to find a village. Villagers can be found in plains, snowy plains, deserts, taigas, snowing taigas, and even savanna biomes. The village needs to have at least 12 villagers. And next, what you'll need to do is to bleed, build rather a structure to breed your villagers. In, and this is optional, so this is not required to breed villagers. This is not a required to breed villagers, but building a structure will keep them from wandering off. So villagers need to be in close proximity in order to breed. It will also protect them from hostile mobs and raiders. So the structure can be made out of any building material and it needs to be big enough to house all the villagers you want to breed as well as beds for each villager and the offspring spring they produce so you need to make sure that any windows are covered with glass or iron bars because baby villagers can escape through open gaps in structures and the roof needs to be at least two block spaces above each bed in order for the villagers to be able to use them so don't build a door to your structure villagers can open and close doors and to prevent them from escaping use a fence gate instead and also make sure that the area you keep your villagers is larger enough for them to get around. Your area should have at least three square blocks of empty space for a villager for each villager you want to breed. And villager occupations are now determined by any available workstation block nearby, such as fletching table or composter. Any new villagers will automatically be registered to any available workstation in the village and assigned a, an occupation based on that workstation. So if you have a specific occupation you want your new villagers to fill, you may want to build the structure at least 48 blocks away from any nearby workstations to keep them from registering an occupation automatically. And baby villagers will be assigned a nearby workstation when they become adults. And after that, you can craft at least three beds and place them in the village or structure. So in order for villagers to breed, they need a bed for both the villagers that are breeding and the baby they produce. You will need to craft a new bed for each villager you want to produce. And you can craft a bed from three blocks of wool and three wooden plank blocks using a crafting table. And then next, get at least two villagers close together. If you have built a structure, try to corral them into the structure and then wall off or gate the entrance so they can't wander off. You can move villagers by simply walking into them. This pushes them in the direction you want them to go. And you can also use a boat to transport villagers even on land. So you can get a craft boat out of shovel and a five wooden plank blocks using a crafting table boats can be used to transfer villagers even on land though it is really slow but villagers will not be able to leave the boat until you break it apart and then what you can do next is to gather food for the villagers so each villager has their own independent inventory that they use to keep items like food in order for the villagers to breed they need either three loaves of bread 12 carrots 12 beetroot or 12 potatoes in their inventory the good news is you won't need to go far to find these items because they all can be found inside the village 
So next, what you can do is to give food to the villagers. To give food or give the villagers food, simply drop it on the onto the neck the next or the floor next to them. When the villagers walk over it, it will be added on their inventory. And once both villagers in close proximity have enough food in their inventory, they may become willing to breed. You can drop items by equipping them and pressing Q on your keyboard or the drop button on your controller. And you can also drop items by clicking them in your inventory and dragging it outside your inventory. And then you can trade with villagers. So trading with villagers is not required. It is an optional to get them to breed but it increases their happiness level which makes them more willing to breed and villagers have different items they are willing to trade for different items select a villager to see what they have to trade and what do they want in return make sure you have the item they want in return in your inventory and select the option to trade them and the emeralds are one of the most commonly traded items in your minecraft and then last, what you can do is to wait for the villagers to breed. You will know that the villagers are breeding when they face each other and hearts float all around them. A tiny villager will emerge. It takes 20 minutes for a baby villager to mature into an adult. So if your villager are not breathing or breeding, there could be a number of reasons for it. It could be that the beds are already cleaned by other villagers. The roof over the beds is too short or it could be also it could also be that villagers don't feel safe with whatever it is in the surrounding area. So that's it for this video. Remember you can always pause this video, go back to the video and follow the steps at your own time. And I hope this video helped you and if it did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell button so you won't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.